What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It is I, OP Destroy, and I'm here to show you guys if you can't wait to get your hands on Squad Busters before its global launch on May 29th. I have a solution for you to get it, even if you don't live in the country it's available in. Now, I live in the United States of America, um, and it's not available in this country yet. So, I had to go shopping around. So, my neighbor next to me, or Mexico, I could have went Mexico too. I, I'm, I'm sandwiched in between two countries that already have it. But I went Canada just because my grandpa was from there. <laughs> um, so what I did first and foremost, as you can see by my iPad now, I have Squad Busters on my iPad. And check this out, guys. I can pay with my own currency when making in-app purchases. Check this out. Again, I sneaked this from the Canadian store, brought it back to my home state, and check out the shop. Those are in US dollars, $99 for the best value for 1.2 million gold coins. Also to if you're in the shop and you got some money to drop, use code OP in the shop, guys. There I am, OP Destroy. Definitely your support is much appreciated. So you can see here, I can buy right now gold in USD, which you can see I have, I have 2.5 million gold, huh? Huh? You pay to win, bro? So first off, what we need to do is on iOS, if you are an iOS user, go to the app store on your device. Now, for me, um, I logged in with a new complete Apple ID. And that's really simple to do. You can go on to Google, create a new email, and go through the process of assigning that. Just make it like a dummy account. And that's what I did here. To make purchases, because it's not global yet, you'll need to remain logged into this dummy email when purchasing Squad Busters until global release. You're going to tap on your, your account name or your email, and it's going to bring up over here to um, country region. You can see I came back to the United States, but what you would do is you would tap that country region here like this. I'm not gonna actually do it again because I don't wanna like mess things up, but you're gonna change your country or region like this, and you're gonna choose the country um, that is available in currently. Now for me, Canada and Mexico, but I'm, I'm using Canada, okay? So I'm gonna use Canada, you accept all this good stuff here and hit agree. Now since I've already added a payment method on here, they're gonna want a payment method, I'm not gonna go any further, but if you create a clean slate new ID, you can actually skip putting a payment information in there. What I did for an address in Canada, I looked up a college um, that I may have attended, which I haven't, um, and I used the college address and then I used my first and last name is jo John Doe, whatever. Use Mickey Mouse, whatever you feel like using. Once you get through to that and you get complete control over the Canadian App Store or whatever store you're in, you'll be able to search Squad Busters and download that game. Make sure you also stay in this country until global release if there are any updates to the game. Otherwise, if you're back in your country, um, you'll see that you need an update, but you won't be able to update it because you're back in your country in which the game is not available yet. So once you do that, um, you have the game. It's on your device. Cool beans, right? So what you do next is you go back into the United States, in my case, the United States, or and you fill in the blank of your country you're returning back to, and you go back to that, and then you reset the uh, app store. You just like double click, swipe it up, load it back up, and you should be in your country once again. Now, once you're in your country, you'll be able to add a payment method, in which I did. I added a payment method um, that, that's only solely on this Apple ID. Um, at first, when I made a purchase, I got flagged by my bank saying, hey, what is this? I rectified, said it was me, and they honored it. It's just a really good security that my bank has, which is cool, and I thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it, guys. And, and, and what's nice about it is once it goes global the 29th of May, you can log back into your account. Just make sure you link your account on Supercell ID. That way, when you go back to your country or when it becomes global, you can log into it. It doesn't matter what country you're at that point. I'm able to play. I'm able to pay um, in USD. So uh, didn't use any VPN for this. Did not use VPN. I thought I had to, but I, I didn't. 
so you don't really need to use any VPN, my iOS friends. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I hope I helped you um, get this. If not, I'll answer some more of your questions in the comments. But it was that simple, folks. It was that simple um, to get the game on your device. And if you are per planning to purchase anything in the shop in your currency, just make sure you revert back to your country on that same Apple ID, that dummy ID that you made or whatever. Make sure you're logged into that. I'm still logged into my dummy ID on this iPad. This is my main iPad. So like once it goes global, I'll log back into my main. That doesn't really matter because all my Supercell games right now on this iPad, including Boom Beach, which I play a lot, um, when I repurchase uh, instant training or what anything, it's all USD and it payment goes through no problems. So theoretically, I could just keep this dummy account active and I'm cool. I'm cool. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it. That's how you that's how you get squad busters on your iOS device if you're not in a country where it's available in, okay? That's it, I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, and I'd love to see your comments below. Have a good one, everybody. Peace out.